If you're tired of using paid AI text-to-speech tools, then this video is for you. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate realistic voiceovers in Google AI Studio totally free. And before we dive deeper into this, I've got an example that I'd like to share with you. Let's go ahead and watch it and come back to start generating. <laughs> you won't believe what just happened today. Guess who got the job in Singapore? Wait, what? Are you serious right now? Oh my god, that's amazing! I swear, I didn't think I'd actually get it, but they called me this morning. It's official! I knew it! I told you they'd see how good you are. This is huge, babe. <laughs> you always believed in me more than I believed in myself. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm so, so proud of you. So... It's really happening, huh? You're moving to Singapore. Yeah. It's the opportunity I've always wanted. But I know it's not easy. I'm happy for you. I really am. It's just... I didn't think it would mean being apart. Hey. We'll figure it out, okay? It's not forever. Just until I get things settled. I know. It's just hard to imagine the house without you here. I'll call you every day. Promise. You keep saying it's just for a while, but you're already packing everything like you're never coming back. Because I need to be ready. I don't want to miss anything important for the job. It's always about the job. What about us? Do you even care how I feel? Of course I care. But this is my chance, our chance, to have a better future. Then why does it feel like I'm not part of that future anymore? I hope you found the example helpful. Now let's dive deeper into this and show you how you can easily use Google AI Studio to generate realistic voiceovers for your videos. So first of all, um, I'll leave a link to, the, to this in the description below so you can just go to it directly. All you need is to log in with your Gmail account. And again, this is totally free. You do not have to worry about this. And you can also use it in your uh, monetized videos on YouTube or social media. You will not have any trouble. Now, what I wanted to say um, in terms of how to use the Google AI Studio when you land on this page, if you look at the right side, you'll see that we have a couple of options that we can go with. Under mode, it says that we have an option where we can go with a single speaker audio. And then the next one is multi-speaker audio. So by default, it's got the multi-speaker uh, selected. So what you can do here, if you have a dialogue between two person or even more, you can easily do that. So on this page, you can see on the left side is where the instructions, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. And then on the right side is where your dialogue. Now, how can you edit this? You just simply, click in here, you know, select or highlight the entire text and then paste your own and then go with it. Now, going back onto the right side of the website, you'll see that under voice settings, you have the option to rename speaker one and speaker two as well. Now, as far as choosing between or selecting between different audios, you can simply click on where it says voice, click on the drop down menu right here, and you're gonna see up to 30 voices that you can choose from. All you have to do is simply click on the play button where you can listen for yourself. And if you like it, just select it and then go from there. So that's how you can easily you know, choose the voices and rename um, the speakers and then go with the dialogue. Now, when it comes to the instruction, you in order to get the best results, you have to instruct Google. Let's say this is going to be a prompt right? You have to explain in a very simple and straight way how you want the um, each speaker to sound like. So if you have a dialogue where two people are, are talking to each other, one of them is so excited and happy. The other one is, you know, a little bit sad or mad, right? You can explain how you want each speaker to sound like, and then, you know, leave it to Google. It'll take care of the rest. So switching back to the single speaker. So we're going to click on, again, going to the right side, click on the single speaker audio right here is where we can paste our script. So again, this page, it looks a little bit different. It's pretty simpler. And we have a couple of text boxes. The one above is for the instructions. And then the second one is the text to speech. You just simply paste your script in the text box. And of course, in the style instruction, you have to paste the instructions. So whether you can do this your own, and like I said, try to make it simple and straightforward where you explain how you want the sound um, to be like, you know, the, the tone of the voice, whether you want it sad, happy, 
upbeat, natural, and so on, right? Try to give, you know, as much information as you can, but also keep it simple, straightforward, and then Google will take care of the rest. Now, I'm going to show you a real example, like I said, so you can actually, you know, uh, decide for yourself and see the difference between Google AI Studio and 11 Labs. So I'm going to go back to another page right here where I have a script, and this is the instructions, just to kind of give you an idea of how the instructions, you know, look like. So in the instructions, it says, okay, voice tone, female, soft, shaky, tired from crying, and then emotion, grieve, pain, voice cracks, mid-sentence, uh, sniffles between lines. And then in the text box here, it says, dad, I don't even know why I'm talking to you um, like you can hear me. So I'm going to have you, you know, listen to the actual voice so you can basically tell yourself. So let's play it and, you know, have you hear for yourself. Dad. I don't even know why I'm talking to you like you can still hear me. It's been months, but it still hurts like it happened yesterday. I keep seeing your chair, your jacket, your stupid coffee mug. Everything's still here, but you're not. I tried being strong. I really did. But I can't keep pretending I'm okay. I miss you. God, I miss you so much. Now, you can see how this realistically sound. It's, you know, I, I, I really love it. I, I just can't say anything about it. So now I'm going to show you the difference between this one. It's the same script that I and I have used um, 11 labs, right? So this is, it's the same script right here. And with 11 labs, you don't really get much of settings. So if you go onto the right side where you can edit here, so this is the chosen or selected uh, uh, voice, younger girl uh, named Paula. So what we can do is we cl click on the settings icon right here. And these are the settings. We could change the volume, the speed, the stability, similarity, and styles, uh, style exaggeration. So if you hover on each name, you'll see an explanation of how the settings is used. But again, if you go ahead and read it yourself, you're not really going to find it helpful compared to Google Voices. And again, and I'm going to have you listen to this as well so you can tell the difference yourself. Let's go. Dad, I don't even know why I'm talking to you like you can still hear me. It's been months, but it still hurts like it happened yesterday. I keep seeing your chair, your jacket, your stupid coffee mug. Everything's still here, but you're not. I tried being strong. I really did but I can't keep pretending I'm okay. I miss you. God, I miss you so much. You know, you can definitely tell yourself, right? It sounds monotonic, robotic, and it's nowhere close to Google AI voices. So that is simply the difference. And of course, I don't have to mention about Speechma because Speechma is a competitor of 11 Labs. Let's say it is the free version of 11 Labs. And so it's all, almost the same. And there's no way it can get closer to um, Google AI Studio. Now, we're going to find out, of course, in the future because AI tends to um, progress and develop over time and get better and better. So we don't know what's coming, but what we know is we can use Google AI Studio to generate realistically sound uh, or voiceovers for our videos. And I want to share with you a tip before we end this video today is that for those who do not know you know, how to generate scripts or even um, provide instructions for the uh, Google AI Studio in order to get the best results as far as the tone, the sound, you know, the feeling and all that. What you can do is use ChatGPT. So I'm going to switch to ChatGPT right now to show you what it actually looks like. So this was the script that ChatGPT provided. And yes, I did use ChatGPT and asked it to provide, you know, to or generate a script for me and also provide Google Studio instructions. So as you can see, a voice tone, female, soft, same thing that we've read a few minutes ago, emotion. And then the ambience, this is basically if you're going to add some sound effects and then ending, you know, voice fades out and quite sobs, long pause before silence. So if you want to add that, I didn't add this to my script. I just found that I only took the voice and the emotion. Those were enough for me. And you've already listened to the results yourself. So this is how you can use, you know, a chat EPT in order to tell it exactly how you want the script, you know, to look like depending on what you're trying to achieve, whether you want to create a promo and add a story or a dialogue, you know, for uh, for multiple people or speakers, you can easily do that. And and at the same time, while you're prompting to chat GPT, do not forget to ask it to provide you with Google, uh, Google AI Studio text to speech uh, instructions in order to get the same instructions so, they, so you can just easily 
copy and paste this onto the website, you know, without having to spend a lot of effort. Now, one tip that I want to share about using uh, ChatGPT, if you're going to use this page or chat page to generate, you know, speeches or scripts for Google AI Studio, make sure that you use the same exact ChatGPT page um, every time you want to create or generate a new script. Why? Because if you start a new chat, there's a possibility that ChatGPT is gonna is going to forget what you've trained it for in the past. And so I tend to use the same exact page. So instead of you know opening up uh, ChatGPT, starting with a new uh, uh, chat page, which normally happens because it suggests so, well, I don't want you to do that. I want you to keep using the same chat page all the time. This way, ChatGPT will be trained over and over and over and will provide you with the best results that actually meets your expectations. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>